Hello, good evening. Oh, good evening, everyone. Um, hello, guys. Good evening, everyone. Hello, hello. Do you listen to me? Hello, good evening, teacher. Hello guys, welcome to our English class. Welcome everyone. Well, I see more students joining right now the class and that's good. So let's uh, welcome everyone to our English class. It's a great pleasure to have you here. Always ready and also motivated to, you know, to learn and maximize your skills because I know that it's really important. Let's see. Well, guys, I hope that you have had a great time, a nice weekend, and also getting ready to start, you know, part of the week always, you know, doing our, your best, you know, you know, time actually is go going on so fast that we understand that, you know, vacations are coming up for some of you and some others, you know, have a full shift. But anyway, you have to be encouraged and also getting ready to learn and also practice. Well, I know that, you know, we're about to, to finish part of this week. And also this last week to conclude this level, we're talking about advanced one, and then you will move on to the next level. So with more experience and also with more preparation in this process. So as I said since the very beginning, that it's gonna be a, it's gonna be up to us to show that we also had a freedom to learn and also do the best in our single class. And that's one of the things we had to show all this confidence in the way to learn. So we're gonna start. And uh, before that we just like begin a class, I want to ask you a couple of questions, guys, related to the last uh, activities that we developed. So what do you remember we did in the last class? We did a lot of things and also we talked about some specific topics. And I just want to know in a briefly way what you remember we talked about in the last class. Always it's important to have a short feedback and also it's necessary and always show that we are here active, uh, working in the class, participating actively. So that is something interesting. So who wants to break the ice and talk about what we did in the last class? Who wants to tell me to respond to this question? Okay, who wants to, okay, who wants to, well, um, hello, a volunteer, could remember us what we did in the, in the last class, yes, No one in the class? No one to remember who wants to say something about what we did in the last class? Oh. 
or questions do you listen to me or I don't know if it's my, my computer? Yes, teacher, I listen. But in my case, I, I couldn't, uh, I can't to connect in the Friday class. Well, this I, is the reason that I can ask. I can. Thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Yes. I, I know. Sorry. Yeah, I know. Don't worry about it. I was actually, you know, thinking about the, the students who were in the class the last time. Well, that's uh, something that we, we talk about. Well, if not, we're going to have a short feedback. We, we also were talking about the, you know, millennials, the way how they can also achieve their goals, especially in companies. And something interesting about that is like, there are positive things about millennials. We were like talking about some people who criticize the way they work. They are unstable or also they need to improve a lot of things. But honestly, there are interesting points or tips that also can help uh, managers to work with, uh, you know, millennials. And at the same time, they have incredible skills that can help the company to work in a better way. So that's why it's also necessary to, to emphasize this part, especially in activities. So we don't have to forget this. One. And at the same time, we're like socializing an article related to millennials because we had to think about how to deal with them. And at the same time, one the student said in the last class that, you know, something interesting was to encourage them to do a great job. When you score and you, when you encourage them, and not just specifically for millennials, also could be for our other students, for other people, other employees, no matter what uh, generation they are. So it's really important to encourage everyone. When you encourage someone who has done a great job in a company, they feel important, they feel motivated, they feel excited to do a great job. And they say, you know what, I did this one, so I want to try next time even better than this one. So people in the company believe that I'm really important, that I'm doing a great job, and also I'm very capable to reach important things. So that's why, the, the, in all just for employees, also in every area where you are, it's really necessary to encourage people to do a great job. So that's one of the things. Don't forget that. Especially if you become a manager or you're a manager, one of the ways is to make make them feel comfortable, make them feel valuable in the company. If what they do, you have to encourage them. If there's something that they need to improve, you uh, look for the kind words in order to let them know that they need to improve and also teaching the best way they can. So that's one of the things that perhaps we can also analyze about this part. Well, let's just start today with the, the part of the class. We're going to have a short review. And also, uh, this is the conference 20. We just, uh, the next Monday, we finished this level. And also, and we have uh, the last minutes that actually is number, number four. And we're talking about provide tips for managers to lead millennials effectively. We're discussing part of the tips uh, in the previous class, and we'll continue with an evaluation related to millennials. So we're gonna have a kind of teamwork. We're going to analyze some important points that are related to the way how to manage uh, millennials to do a great job. Let's start with the first slide and also get this slide. In the last class, we were talking about the steps. And uh, because of the time we couldn't conclude, we're gonna take a short time to have a short feedback related to this activity. We're talking about the sentence fragments. We were saying that in a, in a sentence, we have different ideas. So we have different ideas that we need to uh, correct them. And also there are some sentences that are not complete. And you're like, oh my God, so those ideas are not clear. What you can do is to try to, um, you know, look for a way to be understandable. If there is missing a, a subject, you have to add a subject. If you're missing a verb, you have to add a verb. The goal is to make sure that we understand that clearly um, these points. And we have this one, how to avoid sentence fragments. We're gonna have a short review. And we're saying that this, uh, sentence fragments are incomplete sentences. We read some of them like uh, complete sentences stay complete ghost and contain both a subject and a verb expressing an action done by or to that subject. So the ideas are not complete and are not clear. So we need to look for a way in which the sentence can be understandable 
adding a, a subject, adding a verb, and also separating ideas by the comma or by a period in, in, to, in order to make another sentence. Look at the first example. Fragments confuse readers because they lack a subject or a verb that most of the time happens, especially in this kind of structures, which makes meaning incomplete and unclear. And now we saw the following example here. That, um, what millennials really need? Uh, this is the first one. And we're saying in the last class that, but what happened? I need a compliment. I mean, the, I mean, there's not an idea, just a kind of introduction. What millennials really need? So we need to add more information, more details to, to, uh, to be a real sentence. Um, there's, there is, well, one second. Okay. Um, there is no verb followed by the information that describes what millennials need. And we were saying that the best way could be like what millennials really need is to be independent, is to be responsible, is to have a more, a more com commitment in the company, what millennials really need to, to have a good decision or to, to have a good possibilities to grow in the company. So we can complete the sentence with some other ideas. Also, we have the stick from the letter B. Having direction at work. So we see the idea, but it's not a sentence because we need to add more details to be understandable as part of a sentence. Um, this is an incomplete thought who is having direction at work and there's no add subject. So we don't see a subject. And the complete sentence would sound like this. Look at this one. Millennials really uh, need to have directional work. So we saw that we um, made a sentence in a clear way. Millennials, that is the subject, millennials really need to have directional work. And now we have uh, completed a real sentence, not an idea or incomplete sentence. And we also have a chance to read um, some uh, fragments, some points to avoid fragments and to create complete sentences like the, the ones that I have here. Look for misplaced periods that may incorrectly separate words into complete sentences. So we have to look for misplaced periods. Uh, if there is not a period, you can change it. If you need a comma, use a comma. If you need to complete the sentence, complete the sentence, you have to check this part, right? Modify the sentence in order to be a clear and a complete sentence. Number two, add a missing subject or a verb to create complete sentence. Add a missing subject. If you consider that a subject can help the sentence to be complete, you can add it. If you need that a verb is important, you can also use a verb. So the goal is to complete the sentence. And the last one is like to join two or more fragments into a complete sentence using a semicolon. So we can actually get some ideas about that. You join two or more fragments, like, like sentences, small portions of sentences. If you remember that when we work in some exercises with commas, that there were some words separated by commas but also phrases separated by comma. So the, th the third rule is related to this commas and also using semicolon when you had to add more ideas and more information. So that is one of the things that we started in the class. And also we work with two examples. This one, and we, we saw the sentence, increased engagement has a direct impact. Revenue is a great investment that helped to keep millennials interested. So we were saying that we could also switch the sentence by increased engagement has a direct impact on revenues, period. It is a great investment that helps to keep millennials interested. So you saw that the first part is needed something else. And the second part where it says that is a great investment, but what is a great investment? So we need a subject. So we added a subject to uh, have a clarity about a statement. So that's what we did. So look for the ways to separate sentences, ignore ideas, and add them 
using uh, also verb or also subject or adding a semicolon or a comma or a period to complete the sentence. We also saw the second sentence, like the most effective approach engaging millennials for soul revolves around the leaderships. Uh, to engage, we were, we were saying like the most effective approach to engage millennials revolves around the leadership or the most effective approach engaging millennials is to revolves around leadership. So we were looking for the way we can add uh, more ideas in the sentence. And also we have the number three, non-millennials assume these narrations and then wants acknowledgement and feedback, uh, period, because of participation throughout his during childhood. So we need to separate the sentences, perhaps by a period or a comma, and also add a kind of subject or verb. So what I want you to do, because we couldn't complete the last three statements, is to check the sentences. And we're going to try to identify and correct sentence fragments. And this is actually for a number three. So think about the first one, no millennials assume this generation. And suddenly it says once acknowledging. So try to separate the ideas, try to use this way. So I will give you um, a couple of minutes to check only, the, well, specifically exercise three, four, five, and six. Okay. And then we're going to compare what we have here and see if what modification you have gotten from the sentence fragments. Also, if you have any questions or doubt related to. This vocabulary, you also have a freedom to do that. Um, any questions or doubts or any comments on Carlos Herrera, Justman, Sobredo? No questions? Questions? Hello? It sounds very quiet today. This is like a little scary because nobody talks. So I want you to say, yes, I agree. I understand that. That's cool. Yes? Is that okay what we have to do? Fifty fifty t shirt. Okay, let's try, and then we're gonna try to uh, do it together because that's one of the main, main points. Try to do it, and then we're gonna get a conclusion about each sentence, uh, which uh, modifications we can reach from each statement.
Okay, um, ready? Are we ready, guys? Number three is ready. Yes, tell me. Okay, let's see the number three. So we're gonna use the chat to also check the statements. And also you can help me with the number three. It says that um, non-millennials assume this generation wants, uh, wants acknowledgement and feedback because of participation trophies during childhood. I saw that there is um, a kind of period that it shouldn't be there. So we're gonna try to reach that one. Okay, do you have any idea about the number three? How can you uh, also check if the sentence is correct? Can you help me with that? Number three, what you have written and what modifications can you give it to this statement? Any volunteer who's ready and sure the ones you have are done? Um, yes, and um, any idea about the number three? Teacher, in my case, I'm not sure, but I can I try if you want, because I don't I don't know if that is covered the sentence that I. But I can try. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. And, non millennials assume that this generation wants to acknowledgement and feedback period because of participation traffic during their childhood mm. oh can you listen yeah okay so yeah no millennials assume also you can say no millennials assume these generations that wants uh, so after that generation that uh, wants to um to acknowledgement and feedback that wants acknowledgement that that knowledge okay yeah because after once acknowledge is a noun so it doesn't need a two so no millennials assume this generation that wants acknowledgement and feedback also we can use um uh, because of participation trophies during comma also we can use comma uh, because of participation trophies during childhood because if we say because of participation trophy during childhood it doesn't make sense so we can also use after feedback a comma to have a, a an idea so a comma because of participation trophies during childhood so the sentence oh, is actually but good. it's not necessary emphasizing their childhood or um, the the subject their childhood is not necessary in this sentence uh, during childhood, no, because childhood is a noun. So, okay. yeah, because of participation, traffic during childhood, only if we uh, use the period because of participation, traffic during childhood, it wouldn't make sense. So that's why we need to connect this idea with the previous one. That's why it's recommendable to use the, the comma. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so that will be for the number three in that case. The new millennials a this generation that wants acknowledgement and feedback, comma because of participation, trophies during childhood. So we have a general idea about that. The goal is to to make that the sentence or that sentence makes sense, that has a clear idea when you read it. That's the main goal of that. 
Let's see the number four. Um, it says that it's easy ones. You know their values, connecting what they care about with what they are doing. This sentence is easy. This number four is pretty easy. What do you have for this one? Uh, what idea you have, guys? Yes. We are 20. Yes. And these sentences, teacher, in my personal opinion, are not that just change the, the period or the point by by comma. That's it. Because I think that this makes sense. Because it's one is is one idea, right? Yes. Exactly. It's one idea. So because if you separate it's easy ones, you know their values, only this part doesn't make sense. I don't understand what the older, what the writer wants to say. So we need to match this idea with the next one in order to have a clear point. If I say, you know what? It's easy once you know their values. What? What, what do you mean? I mean, com can you complete the sentence? Because I don't understand. So it's easy once you know their values, connecting what they care about with what they are doing. So we need to make one sentence. Also, you can use a comma or also it wouldn't be necessary because if you say, it's easy once you know their values, connecting what they care about with what they are doing. So in that case, we had to eliminate the period after values in order to have a clear idea. In that case, the, all the sentences have a clear idea if we separated the period. So because the first part is connected with the second one, making one sentence. That will be for the number four. Let's see the next one, the number five. We have, uh, there are some things to consider while working with millennials. And then they added period, but why? And then it says such as knowledge in their impact and focusing on their strengths. So what do you think? could be the best sentence in the number five. Okay, so any idea, guys? I'm, I'm worried because we're quiet and I need to make sure that you know or you don't know this part. So at least uh, we can try. I believe it's missing the comma before while. There are some things to consider, comma, while working with the millennials. Mm, but this this sentence is not complete because you say there are some things to consider while working with millennials, but we need more details, more ideas. So we can see that. I think we could say there are some things to consider while working with millennials. This okay, this sentence is good. But then there is a period. And then the other sentence cannot start with such as because such as is a network. So we need to connect this first sentence or the first incomplete sentence with the next one 
in order to have a clear idea. So instead of period after millennials, what do you suggest that we can add? For example, if we say such as acknowledging their impact and focusing on their strengths. So instead of period, what can we add? Hi. But teacher, I have a doubt that if you don't use the period, just comma, social knowledge in their impact and focus in order is strength is correct or not? So just, yes, it's correct. Because such as for in Spanish would be like tales como, uh, such as knowledge in, or such as knowledge in. Okay, but I, I, you, we can eliminate the point, or, or we can use comma, and, or, or yes. it's not. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 um, the period is not used appropriately, so we can also use a comma in that case, but we cannot use the period because such as, it, we use to to give an example because it's an adverb. In that case, we can also say it, um. There are some things to consider while working with millennials, comma, such as knowledge in their impact and focusing on their strengths, like, like we say in Spanish. Hay algunas cosas de considerar mientras trabajas con, con millennials, comma, tales como con, eh, conocer el impacto, su impacto y su enfoque en su fortaleza. So that will say that in Spanish. So if we say um, period, we finish an idea, we need to start a new one. But such as, as an adverb, so we need to separate it. That would be the, um, the way in the sentence. Let's see the number six. Successfully engaging millennials is a lot of a lot like engaging those Caribbean reef sharks. You'll need to create the perfect working environment. Check uh, what changes would you like to add in that case to this sentence. The last one is very easy because the ideas are separated. So we have to see uh, the punctuations or if you had to add the subject or the verb. This is like a Spanish. We have to respect the sentences, represent and respect the ideas. That's the only one thing.
Um, you get it now, or what do you think? Could you check the sentence, the modifications that you could give? Yes, someone? I understand, teacher, that in that in this point we have a two sentences. Uh, mm -hmm. Successful engaging millennials. It is a lot of like engaging those Caribbean Richard point, or mm -hmm. you will need you will need to create the perfect work environment. I think this is in my opinion. I'm not sure. Yeah, that's correct. So we had two clear ideas, and if we don't um separate the ideas, it's like. Successfully engaging millennials is a lot like changing those Caribbean trip charts. You'll need to create the perfect work environment. So, so yeah, at the end of the sentence, you are like a little tired, you know. I need to separate ideas in order to breathe. So we could say that successfully engaging millennials is a lot like engaging those Caribbean reef charts. Period. You'll need to create a perfect work environment. This is the only one modification that we can give, guys. Remember, when we are reading, uh, we have to separate ideas. Those are uh, sentence fragments. Obviously, that if we are reading an article or we are reading a book, you won't see situations like that one. So in those cases that you see a, a kind of article that um, it's very long and they are not separated by commas or periods, it will be hard for readers. And also it could be a little bit like confusing for the readers to know what happens. Especially when you write in English, you should separate the ideas, you have to separate the context, you have to use the commas and periods to check that part. That's the only one thing that we can do. Because the purpose is to uh, make sure that well, something we, ha we have written to be understandable. That's one of the points. And uh, further, we're going to be working about prayer conjunctions. We're going to be working about sentence fragments. So remember that those topics we study are in a way a review because we study them and then perhaps later we will see some other exercises similar like this one. We will see this week that we start the last the unit number four this week. You will see um other topics that reinforce these uh, sentences. Let's see we're gonna move to the next slide. I need to check separate it. Okay, we have an activity that we're going to develop together. And but before this one, I need to check the attendance list as we always do. And um, you will listen your name and just say present. If you allow me just one moment. Okay, Carlos Alberto Dominguez Martinez. Eh, Carlos Ernesto Hernández. Present. Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Present. Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present. Jorge Antonio Sanchez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Um, Jose Bernardo López. Jose Bernardo, uh, Jose Carlos Argueta. Present. Jose Salvador Bernal. I'm here, teacher. Thanks. Uh, Jusman Atilio Serrano. Present. Uh, Juan Carlos Herrera. Present, teacher. Thank you. Um, uh, Kevin Alfredo Lucero. Present. Thank you. Uh, Nelson Alberto Peraza. Present. Uh, Osman Enrique Hernandez. Osman. <clears throat> Rafael Alexander Serna. Present. Uh, Ricardo Ernesto Perez. Uh, 
eh, Cifrido Ernesto Gómez. Present. Wendy Maricela Ramírez. Wendy here. Mirna Elizabeth Alvarenga. Present. Manuel Antonio Escamilla. Present. Thanks. Appreciate it. One second. Me teacher. Oh, who? No, you can mention that teacher. Yes, English. Ah, present. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, of course, I, I mentioned you, right? Okay. Thank you, teacher. Yeah. It, when we are in the class, like, and then someone is speaking in Spanish, it's like, oh my God, you speak in Spanish? <laughs> what a surprise. Okay. So it's like, uh, <laughs> it's the same, like, cool. All right, guys. We're okay, gonna, teacher. Yeah, that's okay. We're going to work in the, in the following activity, guys. And uh, this is a teamwork. So for that reason, we're going to be working in teams. This is like the, the final project for this unit number three. And I will explain you what's going, what is going to happen here. Uh, turn you, group work, design uh, an infographic featuring some of the following. You can see a kind of chart with the advantages they bring at the workplace, important characteristics to consider to learn them, tips to manage them, and also stereotypes. And we can see the millennials at workplace. What you have to do with your team is you have to analyze three advantages millennials bring to the workplace. We have seen uh, through some links that I have shared in the previous classes, um, some important advantages millennials have, especially to the workplace. And you have analyzed right here in the class for what are the most important point of this. And then you will take notes in your computer or in a page or in a presentation, the three advantages that you have selected as a team. After that one, you have to look for the three characteristics for considering to lead millennials effectively. So the ways in which you can lead millennials strategies to help them to work and do the best of them, right? You take notes about the three points. Later, you will write three tips to bring the best out of millennials at the workplace. How, how can you develop in them the best? How can you make a millennial do the best in the company, encouraging them, giving them bonuses, giving them more opportunities, giving them trainings because trainings are important. If you give a millennial a training, they learn and they show the best. So, but you will think about the three tips to bring the best out of millennials. And the last one, the three stereotypes about millennials. You remember that we were talking in the last class, there were some stereotypes that they were lazy or that they, depending how they are, they do the best. They are the stereotypes, things that are not real or are not the same for everybody because people have different things. And also you can think about three stereotypes. And also the, the group, the group will prepare a brief presentation for the rest of us. For example, in the group, there is K we have Kevin, Carlos, and Juan. And says, Kevin, I will do the presentation. And you take in your show the three advantages, the three characteristics, the three tips to show the best of the millennials, and the three stereotypes about millennials. You will select one member of the group to explain each one, or you can, in the group, you can um, select. I say the advantages, you say the important characteristics, uh, Juan Carlos says the tips to manage them, 
and Kevin uh, reads about the stereotypes. You can also separate the ideas. You can explain as a team or someone can be the ones who will give the ideas. It's going to be up to you who will present this information, this we call in English infographic featuring about millennials at the workplace. Before I, I move you to the breakout rooms, I need to make sure that you understand what we had to do. The question is, uh, you understand what we had to do? You can do me the favor to turn on the, the microphone and say yes or not. Because if not, I can explain you back. Uh, I got it, teacher. Thank you, Carlos Ernesto. Someone else besides him? Only Carlos had understood? Hold on, let me try. Who? Uh, someone else? Understood, teacher. Excellent. That's what I want to hear. Someone else? Well, it's okay, teacher. Perfect. Thank you, Emerson. I really appreciate it. Okay, now we're going to work with the breakout rooms, and I want you to, like, analyze the most important points. Remember that if you have any questions or doubt, you get a freedom to, you know, activate the... The microphone or send a message um, about that teacher. I need your help about explaining this point so you can also give the, the freedom to do that. Okay, so we're going to work at the breakout rooms. We are 19 right now. So we're going to try to make groups for groups. Okay, four and five. Okay, let's work at the breakout rooms and you can analyze and select three of the most important points of the topic scene. Let's see, let's do it. Accept the invitation, please. Okay, please, the ones that are here, um, I want you to join the groups uh, because we're going to be working in teams. So I see that there are uh, Edwin, Rafael, Jose Bernardo, Carlos Alberto, and uh, Ricardo Ernesto. So actually, the, I don't know if you're here, if you're working, what happened with you guys because I need you to move to the breakup rooms.
Yes. So I remember we were reading an article yesterday, or no, sorry, mm -hmm. last week. And yeah. so we read the advantage. I don't know uh -huh. if do you oh. remember technology, technology, technologically savvy or tech savvy expertos en, en tecnologías. Services. Mm -hmm. No, Sabi, te lo de la letra. Creo que lo estuvimos, con, con usted creo que lo estuvimos discutiendo. S A V B Y. Tech Sabi. S A. Ajá. B. B. Y. Ajá. Ajá, guay, la letra Y, no. Ah, ah. Yes. Esa es una ventaja, que son expertos en tecnología. Tech, okay. Savvy. Mm -hmm. And... The other... Another... The more, more expressive... Son más expresivos. They are more expressive. Ok. Ok. Creativity. Yeah. Yes. So. Okay. La siguiente del otro lado, ¿cuál era? Uh, let me see. Es uh, important characters to consider to lead them. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Important characteristics to consider to lead them. For example, I mean encourage teamwork. I don't remember what. Wait. Okay. Incorrect. Incorrect what? In work. work. No, sorry. Encourage. I mean, permit me. I'm going to spell it. Encourage. E N C O U R A G E. G. G for cat. <laughs> G. G. Elephant. Yes. Encourage <laughs> in work team. Ah, in work. Team. Yes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, another thing or characteristic that we have to, to consider. Mm -hmm. Is recognized. Como, how can I spell my idea? Recognized their work because they are looking for feedback and the, for the approval and 
And those, do you remember? I remember we read something like that. Recognize so, the good job. Or the job. outstanding. Mm. Of millennials. Uh, you are characteristic. Yes. Okay. Uh, maybe a social media opportunist. Yes. Good. Uh, social media opportunist. Yes. Uh -huh. Double P. Uh, yeah. Perhaps the number one could be like encourage to work in teams. Or to work. Yeah, to encourage to work in teams could be. In teams, yeah. Okay. Much better. And also check the recognize. Check the word. Then the G. G, yes. G N. G N. Uh, the... Expressive, double S, uh, expressive, expressive, double S. This is number two, they are more, more uh, expressive, double S. And also creativity, or because it's a noun, so. You say what creativity? Only I don't know. They they are creative. Oh, okay, so you can also add, and or you don't need to add creativities. Is creativity? Okay. Social media opportunities. Why in the end creativity? Oh. Nice, nice, nice. Good, good. And the number, well, C, um, no capital, creativity. Okay. And also, there is another one in the number two that says, upper things. Oh, opportunities, like this one. Like this one. Oh, this one. So there are like two choices. You can say in plural, uh, singular opportunity. Uh, also in plural, opportunities. So you can also check that part. Yes. Okay. The third part is a uh, tips, right? And the stereotype.
Okay. Um, okay. Hello, guys. How are you going with the ideas? Are you working in teams or you have separated the, the points? How, how are you going? So, teacher, we work in the... Uh... Separated the team. So you are uh, you have selected one is going to take one of them, and then you will join the the information. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, what is the advantages do, do you consider for the millennials?
Gracias a Dios. Gracias a Dios. Thanks, God. Thanks, God. Yes. This is you the advantage that use the technology in this case. Yes. Proportional the errament technical uh, tools. Technic technologies. Yes. Kevin, are you agree with us or you can add more? Please, Kevin. <laughs> Kevin. Osman, welcome. <laughs> No, Hi, good evening, guys. Osman, my good friend. Evening. Osman is here. Hey, Osman. Nice to see you. <laughs> hey, my... Osman. How are I had you? Problem. I had problems with my connection. I don't know oh. why. Don't worry. But I am here. Don't it's, worry. It's nice to see you. <laughs> <laughs> nice to see you too. Give we us have a, in the a tips. stereotype. <laughs> yeah. Hmm? <laughs> Yeah, you are the last one, the stereotype. Give, give three, the, <laughs> three stereotypes about millennials. This is your point, Osman. <laughs> they are lazy. Yeah. They are lazy. Lazy is the first. Yeah. <laughs> also, millennials don't matter, no matter, uh, spend working long time in a company. Doesn't matter. Come on, Osman. <laughs> I don't know. No, it's a stereotype. For me, yes, it's, but it's, it's true the because the 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 deal, the <coughs> and, uh, I forget the word, the con contract, contrato, the agreement. They don't care. They don't care about work for a long period in the company. Yes, oh. uh, because in my case, uh, the true, uh, I feel so worried if I imagine I going to lose my my job. Yeah. I, I worry because I, yeah. I I need I need a stability in my job because I need because I have a responsibility in my in my family. Uh, deudas. I don't know how do you say deudas. <laughs> yes. Dubs. 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 That for this reason, thank you, teacher. <laughs> for this reason, I I I want to be a long time in a job, but mm -hmm. uh, millennials, I uh, I know the millennials don't don't matter a lot uh, if they uh, have job for a uh, one year, six six months, two years, uh, no matter. Yes. Okay. I don't know. Okay. This is May, maybe because they don't have any responsibility. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. Yes. The, 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 there are the, there is something very interesting in, in when you are changing, change, changing, changing e, e, at work. For example, uh, uh, your AFP. Yes. Oh yeah, they, they... because if you are changing a uh, company by company, maybe your saving in AFP lost. <laughs> oh really? Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> if you if you continue long time in a, in a in a work, maybe you you can you can take the tracking uh, uh, about your say uh, yes. Hours? Saving. Yeah, saving. saving. Yes. Oh, I, don't imagine. Know. Oh, only, I only think a... that if that if you pay, you have the the benefits yeah. or a AFP at the end of your sixty five years old. I don't know what we said it in the in the woman is fifty five. Yes, and the man it's is fifty five years. Or okay. In the main six sixty sixty okay. years. Or in 30 years working, work it, work it. Uh -huh. I, I need to have 30 years work. Uh -huh. and, and also, I need to have 60 years old. Okay. Okay, we need one more. <laughs> they are lazy, they don't care work for a long period in the company because they don't have any. 
responsibility. Also, also millennial are intelligent. Very intelligent. Yes. But it's not but it is not a stereotype. A stereotype <laughs> that the, the yeah that the society say about them. I, I, don't, I don't know. Yeah. I, I don't know. A stereotype. Yeah, I is, think that no. <laughs> it's only only bad things or can be good things. No mm. bad things, but I think that the society is not thinking yeah. that they are very intelligent. No, yeah, it's the it's the opposite. They are lazy, they don't care, they don't want to work, they they oh, the, okay. the, the, May, the society maybe. say that they are uh, crystal, I don't know, crystal. I, I, the generation I crystal, <laughs> because you I don't, don't say anything. <laughs> uh, what do you yeah, think about, about your about the millennials? The millennials look like look like informal. Okay, yeah, it's a stereotype. They, yes. they yeah, yeah. They look looks like look. I don't know how do you write, but they look like informal. Informal all the no, time. Formal. <laughs> uh, on, only comfortable. Comfortable. Okay. Look like. Look, look like. like informal. Less millennials. Less. Millennials want to feel comfortable. 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 They are fashion. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> they look like informal, and your yeah. dress code. Look like. Look like look like informal mm -hmm. yeah yeah how do you say desarreglado but it's not informal is uh, mm -hmm. when you have your hair your your hair your long hair what and you don't you don't care about that the, the rule that in the job in the traditional job, because I think that the company they shame, but they they are very fresh or they, their style is very, yeah, informal as Osman said, and they don't care about the the hair or. Mostly. Okay, three. Prepare a brief presentation for your classmate. <laughs> Okay, congrats, Osman. Congrats, Osman, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's your turn. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay. And Kevin? Kevin, I don't know. Kevin? Kevin? Or what do you think? One one for each okay. or just one person yeah. talk no, about it? One, 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 one person? Yeah. Oh, one each one. Okay. One each one. Okay. Nelson? What do you want to, to say? <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, the first. The first, the advantage. Okay. And you, Osman? Um, number two, important characteristic. Okay. And you, Osman? I think <laughs> stereotypes. Stere stereotypes. Kevin, I don't know if this is here or not. I don't know. <laughs> Kevin, are you there? <laughs> Thanks, Mirna. Tips. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the last one. I know. <laughs> and Kevin? Kevin, I don't know. This, this, this team, I feel happy. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, yeah. I think that he lived. I don't know. Maybe Kevin say the first one. <laughs> Kevin said the, the introduction. The, 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 the summary. Introduction. The summary. Yeah. <laughs> or the introduction. <laughs> can you say? Can you send us uh, the for, picture? Yes. A picture. Of yes. Course, for yes. For message. Yes, I can say. Take the take the screenshot. Okay, let me see. I, I can I can do the, the screen. Yeah. Don't worry, I I, I got it. I got it. I got it. The screen. Ah, oh, you got it. But I can yes, send yes. in the chat if you Done. want. No, because uh, 
Ah, you the can Zoom see chat. in the chat. Yeah, the Zoom chat ah. in this chat. <laughs> <laughs> the copy. <laughs> yeah, but I can share. No worry. If when when the teacher say, I can share the the picture. <laughs> But Osman, you are you are you a millennial or not? No, no, I, mm. I I I want to be, but in my case, I am gener generation X. X. I am yeah. I am old. <laughs> no, you you were you was born uh, before that eighties, yeah. Before yes, before I I was born in. 1977? Yeah, in the 70s. Ah, oh, okay. In the 70s, yes. It was, it was. Uh, 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 uh. So, Sorry. Sorry. Other stereotype, maybe is the values, yes? The values? No. What do you think that the values in millennium? They lost the values or not? Come on. Maybe. Come on. Yeah, but that millennium, but, but the stereotype <laughs> that the people say, oh, no, they are not. Value. Maybe the values, los valores, they, they don't care about the values or the... Or no, no. no. Or I they mean, believe in the values that the company has. Yes, definitely. Okay. <laughs> they are commitment and they are very, very <laughs> engagement with the company. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Mm. I'm example. not sure, but maybe. <laughs> no, because the millennium, the south of millennium, they can work and or they move with uh they move fast because they can they can use technology and it's advantage for them and yeah. at this time yeah because the technology yeah. is Bajale, por favor. Okay, uh, so how is how is going to be the the methodology? Who is going to start? If someone will present everything, or the, you will select some of you to express each one? How is going to be? Who will or who are going to be the selective? There are four of us teacher. Okay, fantastic. Yes, <laughs> one step by each person. Okay, awesome. So we're gonna go back uh, to the main sessions because we need to to share the um, the the time, and also we're going to express 
uh, the points, so try to check them. See you in a moment. Okay, see you. Okay, guys, are you ready? Emerson? Yes, teacher, ready. Excellent. So we're going to go back to the breakup rooms. Well, to the main sections because most of us we have finished. And we're going to give the opportunity to the rest um, to, you know, to share uh, your ideas. Okay, see you in a moment. Okay, Hello, good evening. Okay, guys, we're going to start. And also, um, okay, so we, after you know, having the breakup rooms, we have three groups. And also we have, uh, um, let's see, the first one we had here, like Edwin, Ulises, Jose Salvador, Manuel Antonio, and Cifrido, right? And also we have the next group, uh, Carlos Alberto, Carlos Ernesto, Jorge Antonio, Jose Bernardo, Jose Carlos, Juan Carlos, and Wendy. And I saw that the last one was the adjustment, Kevin, Mirna, Nelson, and Osman. So, okay, who's going to start? And also you, in a briefly way, explain. And the best, right? So who wants to break the ice and start the presentation? Only one, please. Not everybody at the same time. Relax, relax. I know that all of you wants to participate, but count down, please. All right, who's going to break the ice? You can do it, guys. It's going to be good. Osman? Uh, Emerson. <laughs> okay, the, the lead. You were in the, the same group, <laughs> right? He's okay. millennial. Okay, Emerson. I think like Emerson is ready. Yeah, since early. Okay. Uh, we consider the host the best way to manage the the millennials and the world is uh, when they're talking about the advantage they bring to the workplace. We consider they are the good age with the technology. And we have we can't uh, approach approach their abilities to create different uh, documents and other things important for the company. The ambition to grow the role professionally is other advantages they have uh, the millennials. Um, the teams, the tips to management, uh, we consider uh, offer a work life balance and environment. They like to work long time, uh, but the, between the morning and Friday, and they, they want to be free um, weekends. 
And the most impact, impact characteristic we consider is, is positive reinforcement to company, inclusively in honesty. Thank you so much, uh, Emerson. So I don't know if someone else from your group will uh, will continue or only you. I believe only you. O only you. You represent the team. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Excellent. Uh, congratulations and a round of applause to Emerson because the group did a great job. So claps to, to the group and also great ideas about the. Uh, you know, the information about millennials, that you gave valuable details according to the activity that was in English, specifically the infographic featuring of millennials at the workplace. Thank you for this infographic point. All right, we'll continue with the next one. And who's going to be, or who are going to be the next volunteers to break the ice? Hi, teacher. In my case, I'm going to speak about uh, stereotypes oh, about man. millennials. You are the, in a different group, right? Yes. Okay. And, and, and then my my classmate Nelson uh, going to speak about the, uh, the advantage. The oh, yes, teacher. We are, going, we are going to share the, 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 the picture. Let me... Okay, perfect. So you can introduce the group. Okay, Osman. Thanks. Okay. Nelson is the first, yeah? <laughs> okay, okay. okay. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Uh, advantage they, they bring at the workplace. Uh, millennials, they can use the technology very well because they born in the uh, generational change. It's an advantage for them. Number two, they have more energy and enthusiasm. And number three, they are open-minded. Mind or minded, I am not sure. Uh, because uh, they, uh, they thought that uh, there are another way to do something. Just that. Okay. Um, in the important characteristic to consider are to learn to LinkedIn. In this case, analyze, uh, for example, uh, millennial good communication and the use the social media in whole in, in your in the company and your activity in the learning. Or it is the cell town and the uh, student technical career, not necessarily studying uh, career learners, uh, more uh, technical student short, because it's important to practice and learn um, the social media or just the technical uh, in the in the technology. Mm -hmm. Uh, the tips that to manage them, we talk in our group about that they, pr they promote the continuous training. And number two, they make a balance the, between personal and professional life and bring the benefit. Like, uh, for example, we talk about the last Friday, you can bring a casual dress or leave early, like a flexi time. You can leave one hour early and... Uh, for example, other other tips, home office that they they can do, and the last one is the stereotype. Okay, uh, about the stereotypes, uh, number one, uh, there are lazy. Uh, number two, they don't care work for long period period in the company because they don't have maybe any responsibility. Uh, they don't worry for a short or little, little thing. Uh, also, they look like informal. Yes. 
that's all teacher okay thank you so much a uh, round of applause congratulations for the group great job too excellent uh they did a great job also getting uh, the summary of the most important points for um this topic the infographic featuring of millennials at the workplace you know describing the advantages the tips to manage them the important characteristic and also the stereotypes too and well uh, clearly explains you made a summary uh, as the previous team about the topics that we have been discussing related to millennials so that's mean that now that you have studied about millennials you have a great topic about that and i'm going to be honest with you guys i was speaking with that colleague and I was speaking with my boss about some points related to working teams and all stuff. And then for circumstances of life, the topic about millennials came up. And I was like thinking that previously we have been talking about millennials and we talk about the ages and we just like share some ideas about that. So I could use this topic to share in my, in my job, in my job. So that was very interesting. All right, great job. So we, let's continue with the last group. And but before I need to check the attendance list and then we go back to the last group. Yes. Um, okay. Allow me a moment, please, guys. And I, meanwhile, I look for the list. Okay, let's see. Uh, Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Uh, Carlos Ernesto Hernandez. Hello. Thanks. Uh, Edwin Antonio Quintero. Present. Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present. Jorge Antonio Sanchez. Present teacher. Jose Bernardo Lopez. Jose Carlos Argueta. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Salvador Bernal. Here I am. Uh, Josman Atilio Serrano. Present. Juan Carlos Herrera. Kevin. Present teacher. Present, Present teacher. Kevin Alfredo Lucero. Present. Nelson Alberto Peraza. Present. Osman Enrique Hernandez. Present. Rafael Alexander Serna. Present, teacher. Ricardo Ernesto Perez. Present, teacher. Sifrido Ernesto Gomez. Present. Eh, Wendy Maricela Ramirez. Present, teacher. Eh, Mirna Elizabeth Alvarenga. Present. Eh, Manuel Antonio Escamilla. Present. Thank you.
Okay, much better. Well, uh, let's continue the last group. Please do me the favor to, you know, to tell me who starts or who are going to start the presentation. Juan Carlos, right? Hi, Juan Carlos. Hi, good evening, teacher. Hello. I'm going to start. Oh, you 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 will do it or okay? Yeah. Hello, teacher. Uh, I share the, the, the screen. Right. Ah, okay, okay. Yes. Uh -huh. However, we are, we will do it together. So ah. in my case, mm -hmm. I'm going to talk about the advantage. So we identify the tech savvy. And the number two, they are more expressive. And the number three, they are creative creativity creativities. And who's the Wendy? Wendy. <laughs> Wendy. <Is> Hello. <laughs> uh, characteristic the characteristic of millen the millennials. The they invest information in social network to help add more knowledge worldwide. Number one, they they have the opportunity to have a flexible schedule. In number three, they they take advantage advantage of their knowledge for technology to be able to be able to apply is very day in their job why they have more analogies in the different social network and they are very no in no in all enthusiastic I, yes, in their profession. Okay, uh, talking mm. about the, the, the three tips. Uh, number one, invest in training. Why? Uh, because I believe is the millennials, uh, they are the personal, the poor or lack experience, uh, uh, a manner a manner uh, this uh, decrease is that is is a training. Uh, number two, schedule flexibility. Uh, they are um, uh, they have the 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 job for example uh, call center and they have. Uh, schedule uh, flexi uh, flexibility flexibility and number three to leverage the technology technological to apply to work uh, because uh, the there are the person uh, the very skilled uh, with the dig digital uh, I think is good uh, to um leverage uh, the situation uh, to apply in the work okay um i will speak about the uh, stereotypes uh, of millennials uh, uh, one uh, stereotype is that uh, millennials are lazy uh, the other um the stereotype is a millennial are technology obsessed. Maybe it's because they were when the internet is growing and, and the mobile device too. Uh, and the, the first uh, stereotype is uh, millennials are uh, job hoppers. Uh, maybe it's be because the millennial uh, all the time try to to learn more, 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 and they don't like, uh, don't like do uh, words uh, repetitive. Uh, maybe it's for that. And this is this is all.
in a stereotype for the millennial uh, that we we find. That's all. Yes, that's all. Okay, that's okay. That's I was all. waiting. Is somebody... the show. <laughs> okay, I was waiting that somebody else could talk, right? Okay, a round of applause. Congratulations, Rod. They were done. It was good. Thank you so much. It was very interesting to know a little bit about you know different perspectives related to millennials. First one, because most of you talk a little bit about the advantages, right? About uh, the the bring at the workplace, the you know, the natural way in which they work, also the skills that they can give to the company that are really important. And also the characteristics to help them to work in a team, to be a good employee and do what it is required, especially doing the main task. And also tips also to manage them. There are ways in which we can like guide them to do a great job, to enhance their capacities, to maximize their goals and everything that is important. And the last one, the stereotypes that are required uh, also to, to consider important because people attach some things, but we cannot attach a stereotype a person. Everyone is different. Everyone works in a different way. So congratulations to everyone. We have learned a lot. And what I really love is that most of you were speaking in English and I really love that because we are bilingual. You are advanced now, so your English level should be the best. Okay, I want I want the best from you guys. Okay, we're gonna work in the last activity. We have a, a conversation, and uh, to conclude the class, I will send you the audio, and I want you to listen carefully. And also, we're going to um, listen and select the best answer for this one. Yes. Let me share with you now the, the audio, one second. One moment, please. Because I'm trying to send the audio, what happened? Mm, this one. Out. Out. Okay, Mr. Smith, let's begin. Okay, I'm sending you guys the uh, the audio. Listen carefully, and we're going to check the best answer for this part. Okay, good luck with this.
Okay, so let's check the last before concluding. And this part, the first one, uh, the speaker has been practicing for his test. Uh, can you identify where? At a driving school, on the street, or at home? What answer you got, guys? At the driving school teacher. Uh -huh. What do you think? At a driving school? On the street around town? On the street? Uh, I think I believe I agree with Nelson. I think. Well, the, the person says in my driveway. And when we're talking about driveway, it's actually the parking area at home. So that's me. The answer is at home. Because the worry about driveway is, for example, when you leave the house, you do you see an entrance? This is called driveway. So the answer is a driveway. Number two, okay. where do they begin the road test? In a residential district. District, yeah. Yeah. They mention something specifically. The Should... next corner. And what, sorry? I remember I, I heard the next corner. Uh, this is a clue, this is a clue. So, because they said that there is a specific speed limit, and also they it is mentioned the miles according to the conversation. In conclusion, because they're going in a public place, because they saw a signal, the answer is in a commercial area. That is the answer for this one. Next. Um, Explain what was the situation with the vehicle in front of them. What is the answer in that case? What's what's it? Sorry, 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 sorry. I'm not sure, teacher. The driver of the other car is team them. Tailgating, okay. Tailgating. Tailgating, but tail. Tailgating. Tailgating then. Um, where you but there is a specific word. But the word is mentioned in the conversation. So it should be a different answer. They mentioned the speed limit. Mm -hmm. So, yes, in conclusion, uh, Mr. Smith is following too closely. That's why they mentioned tailgating. So, because the answer is very close. Yeah, it is it's following too closely. And the next one, uh, according to the conversation, uh, Mr. Smith all way, almost hit a person. A person, yes, a person. And the last one, the driving officer suggests that Mr. Smith. Come back on Friday. Yes. Because it's day off. Day off. <laughs> yeah. It's day off. I mean, it, it, it is mentioned in the conversation. And the real one, in conclusion, is like, oh, to take the test with another uh, with uh, another person, an officer, or something like that. Because it says, you could do me a favor when you try it again, please. Come on Friday again. Yeah. And also it is mentioned. A different officer so the idea is okay try another day and also get another person another officer okay guys well we're about to conclude thank you so much for this um great class and also because you make a difference all the time and i hope to see you tomorrow very good, good night, night. Teacher. have a good, good night, night. Tomorrow. thank you so much good night teacher you too good night